Hi there folks, John Morris here and I'll be recording a, a little narration for you for this short video um, just so I can kind of tell you the things that I'm doing and the things that I've been working on um, and just kind of walk you through step by step. This video has obviously been speeded up um, and uh, it's because we were working with a, a tight um, time restriction but it still gives me the opportunity to tell you a little bit as to what I'm doing. Here in this painting I'm editing, uh, you can see where I've, I've basically uh, put back in the, the water and we're going to be touching up a few things here and there and I'm adding grass here, um, some highlights. This is just made with sap green and uh, a bright yellow and this is one of the things we look at in the art classes themselves um, in the tutorials that I teach is how to brighten up um, the grass and how to add um, highlights and shadows and shading and all that kind of stuff onto a painting. Here as you can see that I'm just adding in some uh, little trees and some little uh, flowery things down at the base. What you just saw me doing there with the red paint was to add in highlights onto the tree. Um, unfortunately the, the lighting wasn't particularly good at this time of night, especially being in winter, um, so I had to somewhat manage with uh, with what I could. Here what I'm doing is I'm, I'm laying out the basis for reflections and reflections is something I teach in our first course together at the School of Art and as you can see I'm measuring with my fingers from my thumb to my index finger um, the size of the mountain above it and that's something you always want to bear in mind is whatever's above the reflection should be the same size below and it should also be darker as well. So we're just laying in the base colour and the shadow colour here, just putting some basic black onto the, the canvas and we'll let that dry. Um, just to, and, and the reflections, you don't need to worry too much about them being exactly the same shape, um, but it can, it, it just, you know, you're looking for a basic shape and that's what you're after. Okay, in this painting now, I'm just starting to lay out some highlights and some tree roots. Um, it was kind of a, a crazy idea that I had for a Valentine's painting, um, which will be coming up later on uh, in 2017. Um, and we're just adding some highlights onto the tree now. This is just made with white and brown and some black for highlight. So if you see wherever the moon is, that's where your highlight is going to be facing. On the tree, obviously, it's on the right side of the, the bark on the tree to the right is on the left side of the back because that's where your, your lightest colour is going to be because that's where the light is coming from and all these things you need to remember when you're painting this is something that we uh, look at time and time again and that I instruct a lot um, when I'm running my courses and running my classes whether it be physical classes or whether or not it be the, um, the online classes which is done in some little highlights here. I decided that I didn't like them so I took them out. And now all we're doing is to, to do the reflection basically what we've done we've taken the canvas turned it upside down once the mountain color is dry so once that black paint that you saw me put down earlier on is dry we're taking some um, basically just titanium white laying it out very very flat on the, the palette knife cutting a little roll and then beginning to uh, replicate below what is above. You can see me putting in the shadow colour there. Now what I'm doing, I'm adding in some mist because I'm going to be putting in some trees later on and uh, mist is always really really good to, uh, to to boost the effect of the tree. And I'm doing this with just with a half inch brush and just making some very very small little circles. Um, again something we're going to in much more depth in the in the tutorials and in the school of art and you can see there just making some indications of some tree shapes this was a painting i had a tremendous amount of fun with and it gave me an opportunity to work with a lot of different ideas a lot of different techniques and uh, you won't see the completed version on this video um, that will come later on, hopefully when we've got better lighting, but it was just something to play around with and to give me ideas. The trees were basically made with vertical strokes on the... Uh, so it was just like little flicks almost using the, the half inch brush. 
Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. If there's anything I can do for you, I am here to help. It's been an absolute pleasure and a privilege. If you are interested in learning how to paint yourself and you would be interested in becoming a student at, at the Art From The Heart School of Art, we would more than love to have you come board with us and uh, to be able to give you more information and to teach you more. If there's anything I can do, head to johnmorrisartfromtheheart.com forward slash school of art or online classes and, uh, and you can find all the details there. And if there's anything I can do, please do drop me a message and I will be here to help.